why Arturo is my rival. Now, we haven't had an Arturo video for quite some time. And I have to admit that he was the hottest part of season one. And he will forever be the funniest character on this channel. Right, like Justin. But why is Arturo my rival? <laughs> well, there are many things. The fact that we're the same height. The fact that I'm black and he's white. And we both have colored eyes. His are blue and mine are green. The fact that we both like anime. We both like anime when it was in his prime. So, here's the difference between me and him. This was so fucking funny. So, in the original video, it was about him loving Naruto growing up. And when I made... In high school, as a freshman, I became one of the most popular guys in school by being a turf dancer, and I had a pretty bad reputation junior high, so I came back in high school, so he saw me out of nowhere. He thought I was really gangster, and then he figured out that I watched Naruto after buying a shirt at Hot Topic. I had no idea that he watched the sub, and he was a pothead too, because I was the only one smoking weed at the time. That was my life throughout high school, smoking weed and watching anime, smoking weed and watching anime. I thought nobody else in the world did that until I came across this guy. So here's what happened is I remained an anime nerd all throughout high school after my mask being broken freshman year and he gained a more gangster reputation by going to a continuation school, which is basically a Dewey school. So this guy that used to read the Naruto manga this guy that had a conversation with me about the Alter vs. Pain, this anime nerd went to the Dewey school and got all sorts of swag and literally started sipping bowls, started selling weed, started doing all this shit on the side where I remained an anime fan where I used to be famous for turf dancing. That's hella funny. And he would always rub it in my face. Ha ha ha, I got this new swag at the Dewey school. Well, I remained an anime nerd. He used to always make fun of me. He still watches anime. Ah, oh, you still watch anime? He is sip some lean, man. <laughs> it was getting worse and worse and worse as the years went by. But he still was pretty anime. You know, I got him to play Ultra Rated the Storm 2 when it came out. So it was pretty funny. He wasn't going to pass that up. And along the way, he had a girlfriend. And I was begging for one when I was in high school. But he had one. And it was a pretty fucked up dynamic because his was kind of chubby. But hey, anybody would fuck her. But not just anime, we had way too much in common. We used to watch the same things growing up, but the problem was is as I was getting depressed, everything was going his way by fitting the stereotype and going to a Jewish school. So it starts off like this. I smoke it for the very first time outside of school. And we start talking about everything. We start talking about Naruto. We start talking about rap. He used to listen to mainstream rap like Eminem and Lil Wayne. But now he specifically only listens to rap that's from my area, which is the Bay Area. Which is basically club music that has gangster metaphors that you would only understand if you were slanging. He listens to a type of music where you live it. And that was a big dynamic because I used to listen to music where you would be in your own little world. But you can't really relate to it because you don't know what they're talking about. This shit sounds like tongues to you because you don't sell drugs. You don't do this and that. So he understands what the songs mean. They have pretty good beats, but that's what made him somewhat a hoodlum. But I used to listen to Eminem, and I only listen to rap that has meaning. Which is why I didn't get along with a lot of people in high school. Because a lot of people wanted me to be on that gangster shit. They wanted me to be with the shit. They wanted me to fight. You know, they wanted me to do all this dumb shit. They would not appreciate. There was this thing when I was in junior high. Well, I got into an argument with a girl because I said that Eminem was better than T.I. She's like, Eminem is emo rap. This is some gangster shit. The starting house of really retarded my junior high was. Arturo was pretty funny. There was this time where literally I would come over to his house. And I'm like, man, we don't got papers. We don't got none of that. He's like, so he looked it up online and literally... There's this thing where if you take the middle of a Yu-Gi-Oh card, there's a paper in the middle that's specifically made to be a joint paper. And we would literally, that was our last resort. A lot of people think Arturo is super intelligent and super smart, and that is why he is my rival. They don't know who's who, because we both have different roles. We switch roles a lot. And the thing about it is this. Sometimes they think I'm L, sometimes they think I'm light. Sometimes they think he's L, but he doesn't have the tools to be light. 
So there was this one time at my 15th birthday party when I was a freshman where I invited him, Ralph, who was getting his own versus battle, and my brother used to crack jokes and he introduced them to what real street life was. And so basically, my brother was cracking jokes at my birthday party after he spoke some heavy purple grapes. And Arturo was so impressed that my brothers were literally giving us the most dankery that he ever smoked. And we literally got high, went to the Little Caesars, and the guy at the register could already tell that we were high. We were laughing and shit when we were ordering. My brother cracking mature jokes that you wouldn't understand unless you really lived that life. And so literally, so he talks to Arturo's friend, and he's like, hey, how many brothers you got? And he's like, four? He's like, he's like, how many times you do that little anal thing with your brothers? <laughs> Please understand that that's a joke, but that shit is funny as fuck. But what happened was this. So we were going body shots for my birthday party. And literally, so I gave Ralph a ramp for his money. My brother literally tried to imprint his knuckles into my chest, literally. So we were going body shots after body shots. So what our tool does is literally. So I go and I start swinging at him. And all of a sudden, he kicks me and he stops my momentum. From trying to hit him when we're going body shots. So basically, I try to do it again, and then he kicks me again. I'm like, what the fuck? And then these fucking stupid ass Mexican gang members, they literally are so fucking astounded. Because I tried to shoot in a video game. What I did was, I took our true strategy, but I applied it to real life. And he was boasting at the time, oh, you know it's a good fucking strategy to win the fight? He's like, first you kick him, and then you stop your momentum, and then when they're about to attack you. You kick him again, literally. That is a crazy ass idea to do. That's only gonna work one time, especially if you know the person. So what I do every now and then is I set up a trap and I hit you, and then once you try to get me for opening, I hit you again the exact same way. That shit is so fucking funny. And then this stupid ass fucking beaner gang is all like, Bruh, he does hella shit, and then when you're about to attack him, he does the same thing twice, and then he goes back to doing hella shit. That's crazy, because we're trained as to see the pattern of how you fight. So, Lily, how do you fight someone who breaks that pattern? I'm like, for the hundredth fucking time. I got that from our friend Arturo and I just put it in a fucking video game. Arturo was a professional troll. He used to be on anime like crazy. Like, bruh, I used to play Tekaichi. I used to be my friends over just so I specifically could choose the great apes. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? We used to talk about everything, but all to another... In phase, I kept on improving in my personal career, my animes, I got better at anime designs, I got better at AMVs, but he was really getting heavy on this social thing, he was really starting to network. Arturo actually networked with the rappers, like in person, he smoked with those rappers before I got to work with him, back when I was over at the group home, but it was on some other shit. One of his friends died, trying to steal one of the rappers' chains, so it's really not a world where you want to fuck around. So, I would ask these awkward questions. If you go back to the Arturo vs. Mood Tricks video, this is literally how I used to make you feel socially awkward, but we're not too different. I used to think that I used to make you feel socially awkward, but in reality, he did the same thing. So, basically, it went like this. So, he keeps on telling me about his girlfriend, about how he's in love with his girlfriend, this and that. So, I ask him the most awkward question of all time, and I'm like, did you suck on her titties? And he's like, are you serious? Are you really gonna ask me that question? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, did you? I'm like, yes, I come to their mouth before. <laughs> but literally, he stopped and he put both hands on his head, like, he really asked me that fucking question. <laughs> and then he stopped and then he made a confession. He's like, it's really just pleasure for your hands. <laughs> me and him just had the funniest conversations. I'm like, Arturo, do you think I have a problem? Do you watch as nearly as much porn as I do? There was this one time where literally I was taking too long to literally go outside. And so literally, our crew was just up for Dabby. You have to watch the funny ass video I'm going to link in the description. So him and Dabby show up and Dabby's like, bruh, you took forever. And so our crew comes out of nowhere. Eris was watching porn the entire time when we were walking to his house. No, seriously, I used to say the funniest shit like, so I don't have a problem. He's like, bruh, I watch porn all the time. I watch porn even before I catch the bus stop. I literally watch porn literally before I go smoke. I watch porn. I make sure I watch porn and this and that. And so I'm like, so you don't do this nearly as much as I do. He's like, no, I do. That's just not the point. <laughs> and so another reason why he's my rival is this. So I try to say it like, dude, I fucked up my mom's computer watching porn. Is there any safe porn sites that you recommend that I watch? And he's like, um, you jizz? 
And yes, he is my rival because he showed me the legendary porn site called Ugis. Arturo is the reason why I know a lot of things. And he literally recommended this one actually hentai. We actually did get into a conversation about hentai. And if you go back to my MGTOW video, which I will be linking in the description called Woman at Work, Arturo is the one who showed me Woman at Work. So literally, we got to this really hate debate. So Arturo's literally denial is literally the best show on this channel. So I tried asking if he knew about this specific porn store. And he literally tried to... He literally tried to act like he didn't know her. And so I'm like, do you like Carmella Big? And he literally stayed silent and we kept walking. <laughs> and so I say it again. I'm like, do you know Carmella Big? He's like, yes, bro. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I thought he was actually serious. <laughs> so he got mad and he popped out out of nowhere. Bro, you know Gianna Michaels? I'm like, oh. <laughs> And then he's all like, see, written me one time. I was over in LA layer a car, but homie, I'm like, fuck. I'm not surprised. If I was in the same position, you probably would have done the exact goddamn thing. Not the only one with colored eyes, Arturo. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was my rival to the fullest extent. So there was this one time where I was taking home economics my senior year. And so I come over to Arturo's house, and he puts cheese in his top robin. And he's like, whoa, guess what it is? Macaroni and cheese is just cheese and noodles, right? And I got hella bad. I told my grandma that story. She's like, no, you let Arturo beat you. And there was this one time where literally, so I'm trying to get Arturo to come play Star. I'm high as fuck, and I'm being lazy. I don't want to do chores and shit, but I got to clean my room before I brought him over. So Uncle Jay got my ass, and so he literally... Scolded me. He gave me instructions while I was trying to clean my room. So basically, I had a red rag in my room, and he robbed me to wipe off my windowsill. He's like, "Don't forget to put it in the." <laughs> He's like, "Don't forget to put it in the laundry mat." And so Lily, I come down too fast. He's like, "Hold up, <laughs> you didn't put it in the laundry mat. You put it on the side of the bed, you silly fuck." <laughs> and so our toe is not fucking dying. And Lily, my grandma pops out nowhere. I think he just comes over just to get a laugh. <laughs> and so literally. When we get upstairs, finally, after cleaning my room, he's like, Eris, I need you to do me a favor. Please don't lie. You're fucking horrible at it. Just please stop. He knows you too well. And it was literally the worst shit ever. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, he's my rival to the fullest extent because when it came down to it, when we both graduated high school, we both watched Naldra going up. We both fucked with FMA. Me to a certain extent. So he had nudes from his girl, and I had nudes from my girl, and Lily, he's like, oh, what are those? These? I'm like, oh, yeah. School, you gangsters, school, you continue racist, school, school, you all that. Me and him are admin fans, and we were the only ones who graduated with nudes. It was so fucking funny. There was this one time where he used to criticize me about, I don't like people who sing, and then after he graduated, literally, he started playing this one song by, I think his name is Nav, N-A-V or some shit. And he's like, don't you wish you could sing just like him? I'm like, I do sing better than this nigga. He knows I rap and shit. He knows I do this and that. He's like, okay, take subject. He used to have the funniest phrases. He's like, be serious. Literally, I'm like, yo, man, I just got some pussy. He's like, be serious. <laughs> there was literally this time where at the junior school, there's this thing called nice because it came from, yo, you got that new rust? That shit is nice. And literally, so our two made this new catchphrase called slap yourself when he hears you say something stupid he's like slap yourself and so i call him on the phone one day i'm like bruh i got this new outfit i'm on my nice he's like you think you're on your nice slap yourself there was this one time when i was telling him about some fancy animation every single time he used to have another catchphrase he's like why aren't we high literally i tried to tell him like yo i met this really cool girl named stephanie in art class he's like why aren't we high and speaking of getting high, we would always get high before we play Ultimate Ninja Storm. And we used to have the craziest fucking conversation before we used to play. Literally, we started talking about asses right before we played. Like two Lily nerds about to play fucking Naruto. Talking about continuing wasted school asses. Talking about Julie school asses. Like what the fuck? Literally, before we started to play, we're high as shit. And literally, he's like, bruh, this is gorgeous Julie school. We're asses humongous. And I'm all like, you hella thick, soft, or juicy. Lily. 
He's like, bruh, her ass is as wide as your shoulders. And I literally start laughing. We're high as fuck. He's like, it's defying gravity. It will fit itself. And then he's like, you hear that one e boy song? See, stick with the pair of in the fridge. Boy, that white boy is ghetto. All this right before we're about to play Naruto. And then we start playing Naruto. He starts saying, bruh, you're hella gay. And so I choose Haku. And everybody knows I'm infamous with Haku. He's like, bruh, don't be Haku. That's hella gay. I'm like, nah, man, I don't want to be Haku. He's like, you think you're going to be Haku? Fine, I'll be Neji. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> He's like, that's what I thought. <laughs> Even on to more anime video games. So there's this guy named Blackjack. Who was literally the shortest out of our group, and this was so fucking funny. I literally, he was literally like four foot something, where me and our crew were at least five foot. I was like five two, our crew was like five five, five four. And literally, so I literally, I tried to do some anime shit against Blackjack, and it actually worked. I actually did the gentle fist on Blackjack. Literally pouring my fingers at his fucking rib cage, at his chest, literally hella fast, just like Neji, and it actually worked because I had longer reach and he was shorter than me. And so our girl was fucking dying. He's like, the only opportunity Aerith had to imitate anime, and he used it. And Blackjack is like, bruh, did you see what he just did? He went in and out, like, with his fingers hella times. Literally, look, how the fuck did he do that? Because <laughs> Blackjack only watched Dragon Ball Z, he didn't watch Naruto, so literally, our crew was fucking dying. We were in rematch, and literally that same time, we literally had an arm wrestle, and I barely beat our crew, and that shit lasted for like a minute and a fucking half. And then Blackjack's like, what the fuck, this is too intense. And so, we start riding our bikes, and me and Blackjack start talking about Tekaichi. So basically, me, our crew, and Blackjack start talking about Tekaichi 3 and our obsessions for all the characters. I, I start spamming my Super Saiyan Teen Obsession. And so Blackjack literally goes, he's like, oh man, fuck Super 17, it's all about baby Vegeta. I do be using Super 17 sometimes. It's all true because I know where. You guys are lame as fuck. Super 17, baby Vegeta. It's all about Meta Cooler. I'm like, no! Arturo's rims are way too saucy. This shit is way too wet. I'm hella mad. I was jealous as fuck. That was literally the worst. But he was a fucking asshole. He used to always try to show me Full Battle Alchemist at the worst times. And he would always show me the best episodes. I'm like, bro, I can't get through these 20 episodes of filler. He's like, bro, you gotta be patient, man. You gotta keep watching it. And literally, there was this one time where he was waiting to get some money for Wrestling Union. So he invited me over to his house. And I got mad again because I used to always have this coffee obsession in high school. And he introduced me to Cappuccino. And he literally, we sat. We sipped cappuccino and watched the greatest episode of Full Metal Alchemist. Literally, it was that one part where fucking Greed and Ling are literally about to fight this dude. He's like, bro, watch, this is going to be his hella raw ass part. And literally, that part where these stands both of them with the fucking shoulders, like, what the fuck, man? And then the devil got my ass. He's like, yeah, that's better than everything, including your precious code Dios. That was bullshit as fuck, but I gotta admit, that was funny. That was a nice try, though. <laughs> he literally picked the best fucking part to literally gaslight me and literally try to get me stuck in the FMA. I'm like, you are such a piece of shit, are true. I try watching the series right after that. I'm like, what the fuck does that part come? Literally, all we used to do was talk about rap and literally talk about real shit, literally, all throughout fucking high school. And he used to talk about E40. And literally, damn, he literally DM'd him. He's like, bro, do you listen to anything other than E40? And he would literally spam literally everything about E40. He's like, Robert? You know I'm having trouble with in school. I want you to stop talking about rap. And he's literally like, bruh, there was this one time where E4, he's like, I can both attach to two things at once. And literally, and then he's like, nah, but he's saying it hella fast. Literally having autism, but literally talking about nothing but E40. <laughs> and then it came down to this one point where I actually imitated E40 better than him. I'm all like, ooh. I'm out of this sound like, oh, you bitch broke up my phone and I'm like, and he gets hella mad, we start freestyling, and I start literally putting super emphasis on each and every punchline. And he's like, you put too much emphasis. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to rap like that, literally, so fucking funny. But if he knew how to rap, he would be like, you put too much emphasis, something like photosynthesis. <laughs> no, but on to the real shit, the real reason why he is my rival in terms of intelligence is this. So, we played this game where we had to pick two superpowers, and I chose imagination and gravity. So, he chose time and summoning. Like, he chose to go back in time while I chose imagination and gravity. So, I'm like, well, if you have to summon, 
He's like, if you had to summon any character, who would it be? So I'm like, I'll summon Vegeta. And I'm like, my power is pretty hacks. He's like, yeah, well, I can still go back in time. And another time when he severely pissed me off for his intelligence was when we had weed and no smoking tools. So here's what happened. He got a roll of scotch tape and then he had some clear tape. And so what he did was this. He took a big ass pen and so he molded the pipe with scotch tape for the outer exterior and then he put the clear scotch tape for the inner exterior and then he took a piece of a sewing machine from our grandma's knit kit for the piece for the pipe and I, I look at him this nigga literally made a pipe out of nothing but tape and so I look at him like you expect me to smoke out of that? That nigga literally folded it with one layer and folded it in another layer and put up and then he bent it in half and then he put the sewing piece on top, and I'm like, holy shit, that actually worked. And that is why Artillo is my rival.